Now, with the weather warming up and the spring flowers ready to bloom, we're soon going to be flooded with the colors of spring, which is beautiful. So here to bring you some color and create stunning planters, we've got Frank Farragini. Hey, Look what you brought. We need color. It's about time, yeah. you know, we're, we're done with the gray, the white of snow needs to be behind us, even though I feel like it's not. It's still snowing in some places. Yeah. But this is really what we're looking forward to now. We want some color, we want some beautiful planters out there. And most of us, as I told you before the show, have not gotten rid of our winter planters. And that's okay. So stop judging me. Yeah. <laughs> okay? I'm that's not okay. alone. Some of the planters right now, some of the uh, greens that you had for Christmas are frozen in still, but if you put them into the soil. So it's really yes. hard to remove them. And now we're at that point where we want color yeah. but we're also seeing temperatures drop below freezing mm -hmm. so the question is you know how do we create that color outdoors make it easy for ourselves and almost sometimes we got to make it movable um, right. Easter just happened just a few weeks ago of course yeah. uh, depending upon uh, well it's always at the same time but just <laughs> at what time you're watching us in terms of the hydrangea that we have here this is a popular plant that a lot of people get for Easter so how do we upscale that hydrangea maybe to incorporate it and use it in an entrance planter so just by adding some Beautiful. pussy willows stems. Pussy yeah. willows are one of the first things to come out in early spring. And of course, they first come out with their little pussy willow that you have there and then go into a foliage. But tying it with a raffia bowl on the top just makes it really more welcoming. The big problem with this guy, though, is... You can't have this out in the cold. No, but on a cold night, what I can do is I can bring it back oh, indoors. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's kind of the key. So keep it out and show off during the day when you're at work and yeah. then at night bring it inside. That sounds like a lot of work. It is a bit yeah. of work. It's a bit of work. Maybe you wait until the temperatures warm up a little bit. Yeah, but right? you know, if you want color that you can leave outdoors, something okay. just as simple as a pansy bowl. Oh, these are these pretty. guys here put along a step. You know where you just put them yes. three up the step in yes. the same color. These guys here can take temperatures below freezing. Uh, oh. Their flowers themselves can be added to salads because they're edible blooms. Oh. And then also what we can do is maybe we get sick of them a little bit later in the season. We can just yeah. pop them right out of the container here. Should pop right out. And we pop that right in the garden. And oh, we're nice. use it for a little bit later on, right? Okay, good. So we get you some make color. that look so easy. Well, That's you know great. what? I've done a few popping like that. So. <laughs> Have you? I, I popped a few pots in my life. <laughs> so we look also about what's a way that we can start utilizing things that we can leave out all the time. That's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, but most of it's faux. Oh, that's what you did. If that's you, smart. Yeah. If you can't make it, you fake it. <laughs> <laughs> Been working for me so far. That's right. Um, but if you look at this here, what we do have is we have some real yeah. pussy willows. This is a fatter stem pussy willow that we have. Also Helleborus. This is Helleborus that's actually, this is living. This is real. Mm -hmm. That Helleborus is a perennial plant that I can then utilize back in the garden later on so I can replant that in. Nice. Just by putting some green um, uh, little balls that are in there that are out yeah. of the twig. And then also some of the foliage that we have on here is just plain old faux foliage. But once you mix it in, and you can see that we have the tulips in there too, we mix in a little bit of that faux and real together, hey, we can fake it. And it looks, it, it really does look real. I mean, you wouldn't know it, but it's all of these, uh, all of this foliage at the side here is faux. Uh, and so this stuff is gonna be good. It can snow on this, yeah. and, right? You know and you're okay. And in many places this April, we've already had snow. It's still uh, snowing. It is, it's been a cold season it overall. Has been. So one thing is, is about color. When it comes this to spring, really you, got, nice. yeah, you gotta think about color, right? Are, are these real? Uh, Ish. That's real. No, so those are real. No, this is faux. That's faux. That's faux. That's great. So this here, so this, well, this okay. is what's, uh, this is a faux flowering almond. Yeah. So flowering almond is a shrub that's normally going to flower in your garden a little bit later in the season. Flowers mm -hmm. first, then goes in the leaf, very similar to like a forsythia, yeah. but with the pink and you put it with the purples, the helleborus, you got the purple tulips that are working within here. You have mm -hmm. some hyacinths in here as well. And all of a sudden you have a beautiful container that can handle temperatures just slightly below the freezing mark. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I didn't know any of this stuff would last uh, below the freezing mark. Now for you, do you ever have an issue with animals snacking on your spring planters? Oh, 100%, yeah. Yeah, because that yeah. looks yummy to me. Because squirrels, right? squirrels are employed by garden centers. <laughs> we send them out and they eat all your plants <laughs> so that you have to buy one. So what do you do? I'm gonna oh, give you a really good great. tip as well. What do you well. do? A uh, pelletized chicken manure. Oh, pelletized that's what chicken you do. manure, if you top dress some of the soil with pelletized chicken manure, mm -hmm. squirrels hate it. They don't like it. But it doesn't smell for us, and it's actually a fertilizer. Oh, so that okay, works good. really well. Double so duty. You can do that. So here we got forsythia. Mm -hmm. But we have a mixture here of a faux forsythia. Nice. But also, what we've done is we've taken stems of the real forsythia 
and mix them together. Beautiful. So just hiding it, put the, uh, the pussy willow in. I think yep. yellow and blue, yellow and blue for me is really about spring with a little bit of pink. Mm -hmm. And then what you also have here as well is we have some vinca minor, which is periwinkle, just trailing down the end, and then moss. That's I think, lovely. I think in early spring, that sign a little green moss. Yes. It's like oh, going for a walk on the forest floor and kind of incorporating it in. Now this is really nice. So the key, the key that I'm picking up is if you want your reel to look, you want your to look real, mix in a little bit of real, just a little bit, and all of the plants that are going to be okay in these temperatures. Yeah, and the other thing too keep it faux. is to build some planters. Yes. That I can do this. So that's light. This is a light. I mean, planter. you're a very strong man, Frankie. <laughs> well, thank you for noticing. But it's on the light side, right? <laughs> But the only downfall is with some of the lighter containers, when you make them a little lighter, as on they a windy day, over. they're going to blow over. Yeah. But if you do make them light, and even this one here, because this one doesn't have that much top foliage on the top, yeah. this one won't blow over in a heavier windstorm. I like the shape of it, though. But I want to talk about color for people as well. One okay. of the greatest things to work with is when you're working with white, using gray. Mm -hmm. By working with gray and white, you can even see the contrast here is really lovely. And if you look at this at the same token, even though this is a spring container, it has a real frosty, kind of Jack Frost mix. Yes. Because you got the silvers, the blues, the grays, and the whites. So this is a really good color com combination to work with. Very easy for you to do. And pansies, if you want one plant that you need color, that's affordable that you can use, pansies, panolas, violas, those are the ones that you want to use. Okay, really nice. What I like also about these light colored um, plants is that you can kind of see them at night. Yeah, Isn't that nice? Because it reflects the light. Yeah. And you know, we're, we're, we work so much during the day now. Yes. Sometimes people just get home when it's dark. So That's it's nice right. to see your plants. Really nice. Yeah. Okay, you've inspired me. I'll go home and maybe switch out the winter plants. Well, I can help you. Maybe I can do that. You can just take this one home. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs>